Hey peoples. So finally I moved and I'm able to make PCBs again. Today I made a MSP430 on a board and one of the nice things about using these Texas Instruments chips and they go all the way up to ARM and all the way down to whatever is these like $10 boards you get. The top half of them is always like an emulator program or debugger. That's the kind of things that you often have separate when you want to program these things yourselves or at least you used to. You can like literally saw this board in half and only use this half and that's actually a programmer. So there's a USB in here. You get the power and ground from here onto your board and then you get the test and reset pins. And that's all you need to not, not just like program it, but like this is full fledged breakpoint debugging, memory dumps, inspection. Anyway, this is a real great way to program it. The last thing you're going to need to do this obviously is these microcontrollers. This is a 20 pin MSP 430s. It's crazy how cheap these are. All right. Let's look at the schematic and let's look at the milling and assembling and programming. And let's look at at least some lights blinking this time. All right, here's the schematic. You need power. It's a good idea to have two decoupling capacitors. That just keeps the power supply stable. It's a two pin programmer on the MSP430 if you hijack the launch pad pins. So you'll need power and ground here as well as test and reset. The test port is just a straight wire, but reset requires a pull-up resistor. This is the crystal that you can add optionally to change the speed. This is just connectors to all the GPIO pins. And then I've just pulled out LEDs with resistors on them for debugging purposes. And here's the board. The front is in red, as you can see, and then the back is in green. I have text on the back. It's in reverse here, obviously, because it's the back. The back is where the microcontroller is. The front side has all the LEDs up here at the top. Uh, and the GPIO pins are broken out onto these things around the microcontroller. This is the power supply, and then I have the four pin programmers. The crystal attached here does not have to be mounted. All right, after this, you do file plot, get your Gerber files, and then let's go directly to milling here. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is auto level. That's not really optional. You'll get a much better board if you auto level. Here we're doing the writing, and that goes pretty quick actually, but uh, this is 10 times sped up, just to let everyone know. And then now we're doing the actual board. This is side one, first pass. Now here we are on side two. This is the actual speed here, and now we're sped up again. All right, that's the end of side two. One thing I do though is I do the board twice sometimes if I'm wondering about continuity, and that seems to give a perfect board absolutely every time without even having to necessarily test. Okay, here we are drilling. I believe I broke a drill bit at one point here, so it's kind of a weird sequence. Here's the weird double drills, and I believe this is now the connector pins. All right, that's it for drilling. And now we're gonna go to assembly. This is just basic assembly. I didn't use a, an oven. I'm just uh, doing these by hand. I love this trick where you can solder a, a microchip just by dragging it along. Here's this uh, through hole technique, through hole SMD technique. It works not bad, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't really save that much time doing both sides here. I have some footage of the LEDs and stuff as well, but honestly, it's a little too boring. And I think my fingers were in the way anyway. Right, that brings us to Code Composer Studio. This is just the simple default blink program. Eight LEDs starts off with all eight of them on, divides by two every cycle, which is the same as shift left, a small delay, and then a check if they're all off. If they are, turn them all back on and start again. We can right click on the actual blink program and check we're on USB one. So apply that and close, debug, that will program it and run it. Okay. 